Hi there, this is Andrea with the weekly for Catch the Fire Worship Flags, your place for weekly worship encouragement to help you elevate your praise to the next level. I'm gonna, this is take three. So we're, I had a couple of think people on and then I had to get off. I was having some technical problems. But the, by technical problems, I really mean user problems. <laughs> so, hey Rosie. All right, so I'm just gonna start. It is post Black Friday weekend. How was your Thanksgiving? Uh, thank you so much from last week for having invitations to fulfill my bucket list of having an American Thanksgiving. I hope you had a really great thank you for my tree. Yes, we. so this weekend we put up our tree. Our house looks Christmassy and I did a bit of my shopping for with small businesses. I was really conscious about going with small business this year and um, yeah, so I'm getting really prepared. I have some things that I want to share with you and so let's just get started. So I've been, I was having some conversations with a friend who is a career missionary and she, I've gone, done some ministry trips with her, some worship invasion ministry trips with her. And I really, she was sharing some testimonies and she was really sharing about some of the work that we started, what, what we did in worship. And I want to get the idea that you actually have more influence than you think. Uh, when you are worshiping, when you are bringing and ministering to the Lord, you don't actually even have to worry about if you're ministering to the other people. The people will be blessed uh, and there will be a lasting legacy, especially when you go and you worship where the Lord um, extends the invitation for you to go to. So uh, my friend Glenn, she, Glennis, she, I did a missions trip, a ministry trip with her, and it was just a worship invasion that we went to two countries where it is forbidden to be Christians. And we went into worship, and we could go in kind of incognito with our flags. I, I realized that they're, that they're not incognito, but we were caught incognito, and all we had to do was lift up our, up our banners and she was sharing that was about a year and a half ago and she was sharing in one of those countries she returned uh, for some more worship and we had really instilled with the believers there uh, some some ideas about worship and worship as a lifestyle and what it means to minister to the Lord and what it means to worship with flags and the power of flags and and the power of the worshiper with the flags and all of that and she was re able to report how they have taken this and that they have continued on so the things that you do the seeds that you're sowing in your worship are making a kingdom difference we are on fire to build the kingdom and then at the same time I had another testimony that I wanted to share with you. I was in, we in the same trip, we had gone to also Tibet. And Tibet, as you know, is part of China, but it is very oppressive and it is illegal to be anything, uh, any speak of any religion, Christian or otherwise, but particularly for them, it's the Buddhist. Um, but we went in there and we had some really great Test, we had some very strong prophetic words about us traveling in there and we had a guide and he was not, uh, he was Tibetan, he was a, a Buddhist and he had been, he had studied as a monk for many, many, for about 12 years and in the very first day he would not give, uh, he was very guarded about his, his own personal, um, who he was personally and, and he was very guarded and as most as most actually Tibetans are because because they're so oppressed and we were a group of small like a small group of 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 worshipers and we he's an unbeliever and we weren't sure how we were going to be able to travel around in that country doing what we wanted to do what we felt God wanted us to do without letting him know because it was dangerous for him and for us, actually, if he would, to, if he were to know what we were supposed there for, and but we had these flags, and so I had brought in the flags, and and he happened to be a photographer, and so we told him that we were there in the country to go to some beautiful high places, and we are going to dance with these dance flags that we had, and he was very enthralled with them, and then once he understood what we wanted to do, he was able to actually help us do that because you can only go with a guide. You cannot 
travel on your own and you cannot go anywhere else in that country with um, without being heavily guarded uh, you are surveyed uh, there you're under surveillance with video and audio all the time everywhere you go there is there they're recording you so there was some there was some danger to it and um, and he, throughout the whole the whole time, we were able to connect with him, and I think I connected of the group. I might be connected a little bit more than some of the others, uh, and I had some opportunity to pray for him uh, and to pray healing. He actually was healed, and uh, com continued on communication with him post the trip, and so. I kept communication with him for about five months, and then it just I just lost. Hey, Joni, and then I then I just lost him. He kind of fell off social media. It's very very hard to to get into China with social media, and then and all of that. This to say, yesterday I get a very random message saying he's back on social media and that he was just reaching out to connect with me, and I I don't think that it was a coincidence that. I had heard the testimony of what had been happening in the other country where we had been and where he, we had been sowing seeds. And again, I just want to reiterate and, and encourage you to step out and be bold, not obnoxious, but be bold in your worship, be bold in your ministry of the Lord and do what God asks you to do. And you have more influence than you realize. And you don't have to be worried that it's not what you are the, the goal is not to get the influence where you will actually get favor with, with man and with God. And so do what God wants you to do and he will actually bring the favor with men. So that's our worship encouragement for this week. Go out, be bold, do those things. And wanted to let you know kind of what's been happening. So if you've we had a super successful Glory Realm collection launch last week. Then we had Black Friday, uh, the Black Friday weekend sale, which was incredibly successful and busy. I'm still actually working on them. I've gotten all of the orders that, that if you ordered on Friday, they've already been shipped out. But Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'm still working on those orders. Those will be shipped out on Friday. Let you know a few things about the shipping schedule. So now we're coming into the Christmas USPS is, is got very heavy traffic with their with their shipments so to avoid any disappointment the very last day that I will be shipping in 2018 is going to be December 18 it's a Tuesday I will not be shipping uh, again until the new year so if you have it, even then you should get your flags but USPS does not guarantee at this time of year so I always ship with priority post so it should take one to three days to get to you but order early just to make sure that you're going to get them. If you happen to miss the Black Friday sales event, it was a spin to save. Um, there was a, a lot of you got the 20% off, which is a very significant savings. The if you miss that and you still want to get something, I've got another opportunity for you. We have the holiday gift cards. So these are a limited offer both in time and the availability. I only have a hundred of them less now because I have been selling a hundred gift cards if you of uh, $50 increments. If you buy two $50 gift cards, you get a bonus $15 cash to spend in the new year. So that's a that's a 15% savings if you want to wait until the new year and uh, use the gift cards and the bonus cash. You can do that. So that's a great way to gift yourself or tell your husband or your mother or your father or your children that this would be a great gift for you. I will be actually mailing out hard copies and then also emailing you the copies as well. Uh, so that's an idea and it's a way for you to save some money. Um, so that's that. The okay, upcoming this Friday, so in two days, Sarah Taina, who wrote Encountering God Through Dance. She's our author and it's the book that we've been reading in the Firecatchers Book Club. We're going to be having her join us in the group on November 30th. We start at 630 uh, Pacific Standard Time. So if you're so West Coast 6:30, East Coast 9:30. So figure out where your time zone is in there. Join us. There's details are in the Firecatchers classroom or Firecatchers group. Sorry. Uh, so join us there. There's a link I left. And, and also 
we have a Christmas party coming up. So there's gonna be more information in the Fire Catchers group. If you're not part of our group, get in the group. And uh, so that'll be super fun, super fun in the Facebook group. And there's gonna be prizes, gifts, and just and just fun. All you have to do is show up. And um, couldn't figure out why, so I have my list. I couldn't figure out why this was all wrong. Um, and just to let you know, I was not anticipating that this, we, how popular the Glory Realm, I knew that the Glory Realm collection was going to be popular. I didn't anticipate how popular. We are already running out of stock, which I was not expecting. So I have very low stock. I haven't even taken an inventory because I've been working on your orders. Uh, but Glory to Glory, Casting Crowns, and show me your glory. They've been really popular. And so I'm already, I anticipate that I'm gonna be out of stock soon of those. Uh, so I'll let you know, I'll update that as soon as I know when I'm gonna be out. And I did have something that I wanted to, a little tip, a worship flagging, a flagging worship tip that I wanted to share with you. The weather is not conducive for me to be outside. My house is teeny. It's made for midgets, so I can't show you inside the house. We're just gonna have to wait until next week. If you have any worship flag questions in regards to how to use them, what to use, what to do, the differences, and or anything that I can answer uh, here in uh, with some study if you wanted to know about the history or the biblical context of them I would love to answer your questions and so just feel free to pop them in the group um, or message me directly and I will I'd like to answer those questions for you but that's it for all uh, right now I'll see you in the fire catchers group thank you love you